Hello comrade, today I show you a solid way to implement the waste update into existing towns and republics and get rid of the waste yourself. So let's start! First we go on pause and give me the GUI. So I have activated waste here in this little town. And the first thing we need to do is to create waste collecting points. And I would recommend to use the bigger ones because then you can configure them and tell your people where you what they should throw away into the waste bin. So we will take a look take a look in a while. This is always the most important thing. Am I I'm on autobite. It's good for this occasion. So spread these all over the town. The more the better. I don't think you can have too many um, because you don't want to have your waste trucks driving all over the place. So we go here. I think the water works is also covered. Then we go inside of here. Okay. Then maybe somewhere here. Let's take a look. So we need the prison. Maybe the prison was covered by this one. Hmm? I don't think so. Can you go here? No, you won't. But this one goes for all the housing blocks. They have a walking range of 120 meters and 125 meters, pardon me, on footpaths. So it's really tight, but that's okay. You can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Ah, let's plonk you in here. The smaller ones are also a little bit cuter and not so big, but... Um, you cannot separate the waste in the smaller ones. So it's... Ah, there you are. Think you're autosave. Good, good. So I highly recommend if you have to place a space, build the bigger ones. Connect them with the footpath. And there you go. Good. So we have this one. We don't have the city center. And quite important, also the hospital. The hospital is a special case I will show you in a minute. So... We take you here. What do you cover? I don't see a thing here. Okay. Please go in like that. No? Ah. Oh. Okay. One here. And if possible, one maybe here. Yep. If possible. Ooh, what's behind the tree? Nothing good, it seems. Come on. No, you want it. Okay. If I miss a building or two, it's really not that dramatic. But the objective is that you cover most of the city. So I think this is enough. Should be good. You can check it if, if it's under coverage by the trash symbol here. Which is a little bit misleading because <laughs> you have the explosive symbol. Now you have the throwaway symbol for trash. But that's okay. Okay, the next step is, now the things are getting built, we need a distribution office. And I think I will repurpose this one. So, hello. We will sell every one of you. Okay. And let us get some garbage trucks. New menu. Waste trucks, yes. 
So basically, if you bu build the left ones, the left containers, you can only use waste trucks. And if you build the right ones, which are more for industrial use, you can only use these ones, which are the container ones. So I quite like them. Okay, this is our new waste brigade. Mm. They will move out if they have somewhere to deliver the waste. At the moment, they don't. So let us configure these ones, which is important for me. I can say, okay, if you have research disabled or if you have researched it, people can separate their waste. And I think it's mandatory that they do it. Before, uh, if they then cannot separate the waste, I think you shouldn't uh, burn it. I will come to it later on. But I want to collect biological waste and that one, if possible, everywhere. Why? Because biological waste you can burn directly. It will burn without any residue. And that's quite important. So if you burn waste, there is some leftover, like ash. And maybe scraps or construction materials or whatever. And this is no good. And you see them filling up here. So it already started here. <laughs> you see the content of the waste. So most of the wastes are mixed. And the one exception I mentioned is this one here. And this is quite important. This is waste which uh, needs to be separated as it is waste. So we say here biological make it four and you can throw away hazardous waste here also four okay good so hazardous waste is a little bit of a special thing because you cannot separate hazardous waste in a sorting facility which will uh, render your sorting facility or a big dump where you put some hazardous waste into it useless for sorting so you need to treat hazardous waste and you need to pay extra chemicals and this is no good it costs you and it needs special facilities so at the start i recommend to um, throw the hazardous waste over the border so we fine it's totally okay so i hope i got them all maybe yes maybe no if not it's not uh, really a big problem Mm, let's just double check. Okay. Because um, separating biological waste makes my job a little bit easier, but it's not mandatory. And, uh, dealing with hazardous waste, not mixing waste and um, creating clean ash <laughs> is mandatory. So you go 3000 meters. You have these. Okay. Hazardous waste, first order of business, you go over the border. Bye bye. Okay, but that's not enough. We need some facilities to deal with the waste. And I strongly recommend to sort your waste first. If you sort your waste, you will create, you will separate burnable materials from non-burnable materials. Non-burnable materials which will be deposited in your dump. And the problem is if you burn waste, you create ash and you need to get rid of the ash. Good news is the ash gets slowly rid of itself. Bad news is if you burn something which is not <laughs> not ash, <laughs> so which not result in ash like metal scrap or something, it goes to your incinerator and comes out at the other end. So you will deposit metal scraps into your ash uh, dumps and then you get into problems because you will collect over time and accumulate uh, the bad material which will not go away by itself and they will, this will clog up your dumps. So the goal here is to create clean ash and to create clean ash you need to make uh, sort your trash and um, not burn anything like for example hazardous waste. If you burn hazardous waste you have seen the contents of it it will create some leftovers and these leftovers are bad. So, 
let's try something here. We have a nice place here for our sorting facility and our incinerator. They both create some pollution. The incinerator creates an awful lot of pollution. So let's place them. F uh, nice and far away from the city. This is a standard sorting facility and we have two specialized ones. But the standard is okay for our purposes. So you have only one factory connection, which is a shame because I rather want to have more. But you cannot get always what you want. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Maybe we will do it like yeah. Let's make it nice. Okay. Yes, and put up here and put up here. Okay, good. Next thing of our puzzle is the incinerator. This is to get rid of the waste, and I will connect it directly to the. <clears throat> to the sorting facility. You can do it or you can um, get yourself a waste dumper and create it. Okay, let's puzzle it in. Hmm. Maybe you want to look nice, my friend. Oh, okay. And we make it look like so. Okay. Here we have the incinerator, get some people access. Ah, people access is bad. Okay. People access is bad, but we can do it like so and hopefully like so. Okay, stuff is building, people hopefully are coming and going there. Yes, they can. Okay, good. Next. There's a new feature in the forklifts and you can make them directional. I would highly recommend if you are doing something with waste and you know what you are doing, do it directional. So, this one uh, sorts the waste, which is incoming and should put out its export storage here to the incinerator. The waste it sorts out will be clean. So everything what incinerator burns, it will burn completely. And this is very important. So by the bespoken ash, but we will come to it. Okay. So now we can tell our services that they can call, they can deliver us the mixed waste. Get us our mixed waste, please. Mm, do I need to... Ah, and the biological waste. Ah, biological waste can be burned at once. It will be without any residue and does not trouble us. Okay. So they should spring into life. Ah, and we also need here some waste collection. The rule of thumb is everywhere where people are, there's waste. Same like water. If you need water, you also produce waste. And um, people produce people waste <laughs> and industries, which are here, I will come to them in a moment, produce also other waste. And we will take a look. Just let me connect these ones here so everybody is happy. Or maybe not. Let's get one with a road connection. Then you round. Then you round again. You see how small the range is of these thingies. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So now 
you are in range of these two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So also these ones need to <laughs> collect their waste and uh, get it into the normal processes. So let me see. Okay. So people who are working here in these two facilities will throw their waste now into these bins, which is quite important. Again, keep it clean. And uh, we, as you have seen, we have burned our first waste. Now. That's good. So. Do we have some clean waste? We have nothing burned, <laughs> nothing left, yes. Okay, that's fine. Good. So the bespoken ash. If they um, separate the waste, they get these materials out of the waste, which are here in the storages. Like you see here, metal scrap we have also co already connected and collected some plastics. The rest of the waste should be burnable and should burn without any problems and only leave lef left over. The only leftover thing is ash. So what we do with the ash, mm, we deposit it into a dump. In the dump, it dissolves itself by itself. So let's see here. We have quite a lot of dumps to choose from. I maybe pick this one. Okay. And again, not to complicate our lives, make it one way. It can go in circles and can re do very strange things. So these things are there for a reason and I highly recommend to use them. Okay, do you want to go here? Yes, you do. Do you want to look a little bit more nicer? Yes, you do. Come on. Hmm. Make it like so. Okay. So now we have in here from the separation and you see here trash comes in and it will burn. Okay. Let's take a look in the... It's really important that you take a look what, what trash comes out, what trash is here and to create clean trash. You see here, it's only ash. Okay. So let's take a look in the city if everything is working half decently. So we have our trash filling up here. But I think it's okay. We also have some trash filled up here in the houses because they had nowhere to go. As soon as they have somewhere to go, they will prefer this one. If they cannot prefer, prefer uh, this one, they will prefer the internal storage. So now our trash vehicles, let's follow him. We'll try to um, collect from the collection points or from the houses. And they will make a round and go here and there and everywhere and will collect everything they can until they are kind of full <laughs> or they have nowhere to go. Let's see what he does. And if they decide to, they go to the collection facility. Yep, here we go. Kind of a graphical glitch here. What's that? Okay. He has most likely collected some bio waste. Good. So our waste collection is working here in the city. I proclaim it. <laughs> and um, I would say. I see you in a month and we will see how much waste we collect. So, oh, it's nice. It's the 30th of July. So let's move one month forward and see what happens. And back we are. It's the 31st of August and oh, it's quite relaxing here. Sitting here watching the trash traffic going by. It's not a lot of traffic, I can tell you that. So 1st of September. This one is running over a month. I, I'm going on pause. Let's see what our separation facility did in the meantime. Um, we have collected 
or we have no mixed waste it's all <laughs> all processed we have nothing in the export it's all burnt here in the incinerator we have collected no construction waste <laughs> nobody wants to renovate his uh, home we have collected some metal scrap you can see here 1.29 tons and we have 12 tons internal storage so you can say distribution office collect it and throw it over the border or recycle it we have collected no aluminium scrap and we have collected a little bit of plastic waste and uh, you need to pay attention what is here very important information so if it looks like a storage or waste waste container something dump for example or here the waste containers um, these are transported by waste trucks and if it's here aggregate the waste changes if it's sorted it's an aggregate it's the same like for example gravel so it's transported via dumper and if it here it's open storage so the plastic waste is transported via open holes and it behaves like steel for example and we have some again some other waste which uh, is collected by the people internal storage yeah it's all empty because everything it produces in the export goes here and everything else uh, is delivered here and here comes a waste truck and collects it so what did our incinerator do mm. also a little bit boring because there's nothing happening here so we have a teensy tiny amount of um, mixed waste in the export and it's only ash and that's the important part if you have anything else here in ash then you can get into problems why because the ash will the not ash <laughs> will stay here to the storage dump and if we let time run you see here 0 0.8 0 0.484 and 0 so the ash dissipates but if you have if you burn something like a metal scrap it will land here and it will clog up your dump so this is the part which is very important um, separate them and be very diligent about having clean ways to burn you can connect this one with a factory connection or you can buy some waste trucks and call, <laughs> drive the waste around from here to there no problem you can rely on the internal storage or you can connect some external storage we have 3000 people and it's really not that much what is here produced you see here um, we haven't seen a waste uh, waste truck for a while let's take a look in the city if there's some change to report so for example this one here and it looks good so it's collecting waste it's collecting biological waste and mixed waste and you see here the content of the mixed waste which is separated and burnt the biological waste is burnt dire directly and if we take a look into our technical service you see here we only have two trucks in use and um, the other six are sitting there doing nothing so you don't need to be afraid that <laughs> that you get under big pressure of waste trucks if you have a good system if you don't put the waste into dumps and uh, put it from left to right if you take care of the waste um, directly and that's why i wanted to show you the system because it's really great so let's put our system to ah i want to show you the stats so we go here and there and uh, there's a new section here and you can see the waste production and the waste production of our people 3000 people at the moment is this one and we can go on last month because it's a complete month okay last month we have biological waste six tons so nearly seven tons we have mixed waste 17 tons and we have hazardous waste 1.2 tons hazardous waste cost around 1000 rubles to export it via the border so it's okay you know i i wouldn't there's a separation building but it's too much effort for this little hazardous waste okay so this one runs great and really has any problems so let's create some problems for ourselves and the problem is in the form of this one here <laughs> if you're dealing with something like ore and processing 
you will create lots and lots of waste in the form here in the bauxite industry it will be construction waste which can be processed or recycled to gravel but you need to get rid of the waste because all the all the mines are full of waste and they will not work anymore so here we have the bespoken waste do you show me what is in there no no he won't show me okay that's no problem we will find out and also uh, these ones are quite good filled up so let's take care of them and like i said if you have um, industry you rather use these ones these are more suitable for industries and the thing is you need to connect them so they oh i'm sorry um so they will connect to both of them let's see if i plonk you in like here and upgrade this and this like here will you work you have range to nobody Let's see okay this was no success okay so you need to turn your around And let's make it a little bit smarter for this one, at least. So we don't need to make the same mistake two times. Connect you here and connect you here. Connect you here. Here. Okay, good. And back to our container station. We go. Mm, garbage, garbage. So, yeah. And let's make it big. Okay, now we are here. Okay, that's the first part. Um, we also have the problem of um, these two friends here. Which I think... I've looked it up. So, these two... Cro create two and a half tons of um, waste per day and these create 17 tons at maximum production which is a lot so per day and you see here they start to work and they start to fill up these things and you see how fast it goes i don't know how okay they can create some so now we see what's in the waste so you see construction waste is more than 20 percent but less than whatever <laughs> and other waste is more than 20% and less than whatever. So we only knew there's this waste and this waste in there and it fills up rather quickly so we need a special service for them. But let's, let's first take care of the other ones. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So again to the waste we go. To the waste we go. Where's the... <laughs> streaming blindness I'm sorry um, maybe we will get this one for you so in general these containers are bigger and more suitable for industries also industries will only unload into the containers if they have a container painted in they will only unload into container stations do you want to go in there friend And like I said, because these are the storage containers, um, our friends here will not take care of them because they are, they are normal waste trucks and we need the specialized waste trucks. So let's get us a new maintenance office. 
For maintenance, this one, yes. Do we want to go in here, maybe? Let's see. Let's maximize the fun in our life. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. So, to the waste trucks we go again. Waste trucks, yes. And we need these ones. Maybe this color. Okay. And we say you collect our mixed waste, which contains mostly of construction waste. And you pull it in here. And that should spring into life. Momentarily. Only 1000 meters. Let's check it out. Yes. Okay. Okay. And here's the first one delivering. And this will put a lot of pressure for our waste system. Because, first of all, the whole stuff needs to be sorted, and second... Oh! He goes first for the internal storage. That's okay. Mm. Because the internal storage is not pushed to the collecting points. The internal storage is only pushed to the collecting points if there is one. If there isn't one, it simply... Yeah. Will go bigger. Uh, will grow, and uh, if there is one, it will push over to the existing one. And will never fill out the internal until the existing one is overfilled. Okay, so we are now here. Oops. And you see some smoke is going on and stuff is collecting. So this is way more. And you see here the construction rates starts to pile up here. And this uh, will not be handled in a good way by our internal storage. So we need some external storage or construction waste recycling which we can also do but at the moment I will only go for um, a storage solution a short term solution um. connect you here hopefully no you don't want to then I make you The conveyor belts here are really, really finicky, so pay attention because they are very close to the ground and uh, crossing roads with them is a pain. Okay, good. So this one will not overflow, which is quite important, because if this one overflows, it will push in here and I will lose my pure ash, which would be very sad. <laughs> and you see here, because I have connected this industry my ash starts to collect, which is uh, quite, can be a problem. Mm. So, ash is collecting and dissipating. You see here, slowly, slowly, but surely. If you have more ash and you cannot, uh, it will not dissipate more, <laughs> then you need to double up and create more dumps and transport them manually. This one will not work, so the factory connection will not work from one dump to another. It's always, this is an active connection and it will push into here. Uh, into here nothing will be pushed, but you can uh, place it here and here and uh, create a static line and collect with a container this one here and push it to the next one. Until you have the level of dissipation is higher than the level of production. But like I said, the industry here produces an awful lot. And it also creates an awful lot of uh, construction waste. So, you see here, it's nearly full. And we, only, we are only a few days in. So yeah, if you have uh, coal ore, if you have iron ore, or if you have a steel mill, you really need to think about how to get rid of the waste. Uh, you need to plan it. For example, for a steel mill, I would directly connect waste sorting facility, which there are special, specialized one for metal scrap, and then get rid of the other waste as soon as fast as possible, or it will clog up everything. It really is a question of um, design, and also I think this system is nice and easy. You can 
it can collapse in fast way. <laughs> or the, the ash is not completely clean and you have some residue. For example, if this one is overloading, it will push the trash through. So <laughs> if, if internal storage is full, it start, stops working and you get unclean ash to burn, uh, unclean trash to burn and you get unclean ash to deposit. And that's a problem. So comrade, I hope you have enjoyed the trivial and I hope I have taken away a little bit the fear of waste. It's possible. You can do it. I can do it. Everyone can do it. But it's a topic for expert players. It's not a topic for beginner players. Wouldn't recommend it to switch it on. But if you have done everything in the game, switch on waste and have a completely new experience of puzzling the whole thing together. With that, I hope I see you next time. Have fun. Bye bye.